Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to continue opening up that Goodwill blue box that we started opening up in my last video. And this Goodwill blue box is from Dayton, Ohio. And if you're not familiar with what a Goodwill blue box is, it is a box of five pounds of repurposed jewelry. And if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio. And I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And I do direct sales through YouTube. So if you see anything you like in these videos, please feel free to email me at girlyorocks at gmail.com. Okay, guys, let's dive in and continue. So this is what was left of the Goodwill Blue Box. And I'm going to put it on the floor and start to grab some items from it. Okay. Oops, very bright. Okay. So the first thing out of the box is this seed bead necklace. It looks sort of worn here. Yeah, and this wire here it's definitely could use some help. But it definitely was pretty at some point. And if somebody wants to try and fix this, this will go into craft. This will be a dollar. Okay. Next we have here a memory wire bracelet. Pretty orange color, acrylic beads. Very nice. Um, let's take a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at around eight and a half inches unstretched. So if anybody wants this, this will be a dollar two. Okay, next we have here a chunky necklace. And this one is marked NY, New York and Company. Some of the beads here don't look that great. I don't know if a wipe down would help. And you could probably try and polish this up a little bit. But um, yeah, there's some scratches and cracks in here and there. So if anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. Yeah, it's missing stuff. Sorry, guys. This is going to crack. See what else we have here. Next we have some Mardi Gras beads and these will go into craft. This will be a dollar. Let's see what this is. This is a J necklace. Don't think this is sterling. No, it's magnetic. But it's it's nice. It has a nice little hook here. If anybody wants this. This will be a dollar two. Okay. Let's see what is in this. That's really pretty. So it's this acrylic sort of tortoise shell, faux tortoise shell. And then we have these baguettes. And some rhinestones. That's lovely. It's a gold tone chain. It's interesting, the lobster clasp here is silver. But this is the top of it, and this is the bottom of it. So let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures 32 inches wearable length. That's pretty. If anybody wants this, this will be $3. Okay, let's see what this is. This is... Very, very long seed bead necklace. Yeah, so it's a very long one. It's, um, so here at the top of it, it is not marked as a lobster clasp. And then we have these seed beads here and these two findings. And then we have all these bugle beads and seed beads, the varying shapes and shades of 
bronze and silver and black. Really pretty, and that's the bottom of it. It's a very long one. The measurement on this is it's a 17 inch drop here, so that is 34 inches around the neck, I believe. So we have this necklace. And if anybody wants this, this will be $5. Okay. Let's continue to grab some more items. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. This is really pretty. Mesh. Snake necklace. Really pretty. Look at the guy here. This little snake guy with his rhinestone eyes. There is some... I don't know if it's fading of the gold plate here, or I could just use a polishing. And this is a gunmetal black mesh. And here it's flat, which is interesting. So I'm wondering if this goes around your neck, so it's a little more comfortable. And then you just took it here where it is a little indented here and wear it like so. So let's see, so this is the top of it. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if it was bent like this on purpose. There's the top and then here is the hook where you can latch it on. And there is a little bend here so I'm not sure if that's on purpose too. But, and then this is the bottom bit with this little tail. That's really nice. I really like that a lot. Um, wow. Really like this. It's not marked. There is some fading, and as I said before, there is some indention here and on the back. But if anybody wants this, I'll let this go for $20. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat. I like that a lot. Okay, then we have this very big cross. And it's silver tone. And we have rhinestones, but there are two rhinestones missing here. So that is a shame. And we have a silver tone chain. It is not marked. If anybody wants this, this will be a dollar. I'll go into craft. Then we have this interesting looking woven bracelet. Looks like a friendship bracelet. And if anybody wants that, that'll go into craft. It'll be a dollar. Then we have this stretchy. It's new with tags. It's $11.99 at one point. It's Periwinkle by Barlow. Then we have a starfish, a turtle, seashell, and that's cute. Stretch is good on this. Let's see. This one measures in at seven and a half inches. Uh, we'll do this one for four dollars if anybody wants that. It's cute. We have the stretchy. This will go into craft acrylic beads. That'll be a dollar. And we have this necklace, really pretty rhinestones, pretty blue, cobalt blue. And this is not marked as a lobster clasp, and it has a tassel like so. Let's take a measurement on this guy. This one measures 22 inches around wearable net length. So if anybody wants this, this will be two dollars. Okay, we have stretchy here. This will be a dollar. Acrylic beads. Very pretty. This is six and a half inches. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's grab a few more items out of the box. I think we're almost done here. So the first piece out of this batch is this really pretty gunmetal rhinestones. And it's sort of this bar necklace. No mark on this. Let's take a measurement on this one. 
This one measures 14 inches around wearable length with a one inch extender. It's pretty. That'll be $2 if anybody wants it. Okay, next we have this watch. It's an interesting watch face here with the numbers cut out. And these are seed beads. Wow, this is really interesting. These are actually safety pins with seed beads on it. Wow, that is really an interesting watch, guys. Wow. And this is a stainless steel back water resistant Japan movement lead safe. So this is cool. Um, if anybody wants this, this will be $5. Next we have some freshwater pearls, I think. These are really pretty, different colors. Really beautiful one. And it's quite long. So let's get a measurement on this. This one measures 40 inches wearable length, and there is no clasp on this. Really pretty. Like that a lot. Next we have something in a bag here. And this is made in China. Let's see if we can open it. They are two little stud earrings, gold tone. Really cute with the little rhinestone there. Don't think these are anything. Let's test. Nope, they are not. And yeah, these are cute. If anybody wants them, they will be $2. We have an earring, and I think we found the match earlier. So these are pretty. Really nice spiral earrings. And they are magnetic. Really lovely. I like them and how they dangle. If anybody wants these, these will be $3. Really cute. I like those a lot. Then we have this necklace that is slightly broken here, but I think one can easily put that back in and just tighten this up. No, it needs to be glued in, maybe. Let's see. Just tighten a little bit more. No, that's not going to do it. I think it probably needs to be glued in, but it was once a very pretty necklace. If somebody can fix this, and then it has this pretty lariat here with the heart and the rhinestone. If anybody wants this, this will go into craft and it will be a dollar. Pretty. Okay. Next we have a bracelet and this one says Sisters Mary Kay. That's cool. Very nice Mary Kay Sisters cuff bracelet. Pretty sure this is not old. That's nice. Looks pretty on. Could probably remove that dangle if you wanted to. And this measures about six and three quarter inches. I like that. If anybody wants this, this will be three dollars. Okay, next we have this gun metal necklace which has this lobster clasp and it has a tag and it is a White House lack market. And it is, it has two chains here. Really pretty chain, this one here, with these little barrel findings. And it has these beads on this one, the acrylic beads. So here's the top of it and here is the rest of it. 
And then we have this really pretty pendant on the end. And this is, I think this is glass. Yes, that is glass. Yeah, these are glass. And that could be acrylic. Very pretty. Wow, that's a gorgeous pendant. So this is a really, a real stunner. And I think you can maybe even double it up a little bit and wear it like so. You have a smaller neck. That's really pretty. Let's take a measurement on this. This one measures from the top to the shortest chain here. It's 34 inches around the neck, wearable length, with an extender of three inches. That's gorgeous. I love that. If anybody wants this, this will be $12. That's gorgeous. Okay. Next we have a broken bangle that will go into craft. We have a gold tone earring, really pretty. Lightweight tinny discs. This is the back of it, unmarked, very pretty. So you can find a match to that. We have a acrylic bead chain earring here. I think we saw its match early on. And here they are. If anybody wants these, these will be a dollar. Why not? And we have here a really pretty necklace. And this is a Napier. Let's see the tag there. Napier. And there's a spring ring clasp. Then we have this braided chain. And we have these pearls. And these are faux, I believe. All twisted around. That's really lovely. You can see that. Get a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at 24 inches wearable length. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. If anybody wants this Napier, this will be $4. Very pretty. Okay, then we have a little bracelet here. It has this little hook closure, silver tone. Then we have this little turtle guy, navy blue enamel, silver tone. Let's measure him. And he comes in at around six and three quarters. If anybody wants this, this will be two dollars. Okay. And we have here a bracelet. And this one is Express. Here's your Express tag. And we have these mesh bracelets with, hmm, let's see how this goes. I'm not sure how this goes. Hmm. Not really sure how this works, guys, but maybe I took it apart. Maybe it's twisted like this. I'm not sure. We have a necklace here. It's gold tone with these gold acrylic beads with the AP sign with a rhinestone, but it's broken, so this will go into craft. That'll be a dollar. I dropped something. I don't know what it was. Okay, it's 
So this is what I dropped. It is a watch band and it says, Hey Day. So the Hey Day watch band, one of them. Then we have this bracelet that says, I love to quilt. This looks like a Brighton, but I don't think it is. Really pretty chain. Silver tone. You can see some of the copper coming through. It's a really nice clasp here, though. Let's take a measurement on this. This one measures about seven and a quarter inch. So if you love to quilt, that could be for you. But I'm going to put this into craft, so this will be a dollar if anybody wants it. Then we have this. This feels cold to the touch. I wonder if this is dyed howlite. This cab on this filigree backing. Silver tone chain, really long. This is the top of it, and this is the bottom of it. And this is more of like a gunmetal, whereas this is silver. I don't know if this needs to be polished up. This is a really long necklace. This one measures 40 inches around the neck. So if anybody wants this, this will be $2. Okay, we have a earring here. This is just acrylic and this is silver tone. There's no mark on this and it's a little, I don't know if that's cracked. No, I don't think so, but that's interesting. So we'll see if I a match to that. Then we have this really pretty it's like glass, not sure, but it has a little pearl or a glass in the center. I wonder if this is glass, if this will test as glass. Oh, it is testing as, hmm, let's take the presidium in closer and see what this could be. So this is testing as jadeite and spinel. That's pretty cool. And let's see this little stone here. And this is testing as quartz, perhaps. So that's definitely interesting. Yeah, that's definitely jadeite. Really cool. So we have one of those. And I wonder if this is, it is magnetic, so it's not sterling. That's really nice. So if we find a match to this guy. Okay. Then we have here a ring. And this is marked and it says, it has a mark there. I can't make it out, but it says sterling. You can see that. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Let's take a measurement on this guy. I might keep this one. I've always wanted a thumb ring. So it's about seven and three quarters, a little less than an eight. That's really nice. I like that a lot. Pretty sterling ring. You guys, we have a few more items in here. And they're all little bits and baubles. So we'll just take them out and see what we have. That is it, guys. So, we have something in a bag here. And our earrings. These are really pretty. I think these are Millie Fiore earrings. Really pretty flowers. See that? Okay. Really pretty Millie Fiore earrings. These are beautiful. Purple color. I like those a lot. Um, 
think these are going to be sterling, but we shall test and see. Yeah, I think these are sterling. We'll take our 18K solution, like Kristen D says, and test. Let's see if it's sterling. And there's your blue line. So yes, those earrings are sterling. And these are definitely glass. Very beautiful. I like those a lot. Really fiore. So if anybody wants these, these will be... Fourteen. Okay. Oh, we have a match to the blue earring that we saw earlier. Which... They seem to have... Oh, there it goes. Um, this one, it's off-center. Oops, it's actually coming off. So I think that just needs to be glued down. These are not marked. Definitely need to be cleaned up. They're cute. Um, they're acrylic. Anybody wants these, these will be $2 to fix. So we have those. Then we have this pendant, really pretty. Not sure what this gunk is here. I don't know what that is. That is verdigris or something. These are... These are glass beads here. Really pretty pendant, but I don't know what that is. If you guys can see that. Can't seem to get it off, so if anybody wants this, this will go into craft for a dollar. It's pretty. And we have this beautiful bracelet with these really pretty art glass beads. I don't know if you can see these clearly. But a really beautiful beads here with the pretty colors in the middle. And these are acrylic. Are they acrylic? I think they're acrylic. Yeah, these are acrylic beads here, and these are glass. And these are AB coated acrylic beads. Let's take a measurement on this. This one measures six and three quarters. Really pretty bracelet. I like that a lot. If anybody wants this, this will be six dollars. Like that. Then we have a single lone CZ earring. Really pretty. I don't think this is sterling. But it is marked. Uh, yeah. I can't make that out, but um, let's test it and see if it's sterling. Hmm, very well could be sterling. Okay. That is sterling. It's always good to test because you never know. So we have one of these. Hopefully find a match. And let's test this guy. Yeah, that's just glass. Okay. Then we have this beaded ball earring. And that is magnetic. Then we have this pretty rectangle. It's magnetic. We have this really beautiful, oh, this is pretty. This little firefly guy. And he looks like he's plastic. Really beautiful. So then we have him. That will go into craft. Very cute. And then we have this lovely little zebra guy. It's very interesting. He's like plastic and painted. 
We have one of him, I think. I don't see his match. We'll put him off to the side. Then we have this clover looking three leaf clover. And it's pretty. It is, oh, we found a match to him. They are magnetic. They're cute though. Um, if anybody wants these, these will be three dollars. Then we have a, oh wow, this is a beautiful lady bug, I think. Earring. Cute. Let's see if we find a match. Then we have this hoop earring with all these little dangles. That's quite lovely. Okay, then we have a peace sign with a heart. And we have this lovely purple earring, and this one is Monet. Very beautiful. But I don't think we have a match. We have two little lone rhinestones. I'm not sure where this three. So I must have come off from something. Then we have this little swirly guy. And we have this little earring. Then we have a little howlite earring here. A rose gold pendant. I think these are two hearts interlocking. So you could wear that. I think this might go with the rose gold chain we found earlier. So if anybody wants this, this will be four dollars. You have the match to the grape earrings that we saw earlier. So that is a great find. Those are fun. Really nice. If anybody wants these, these will be five dollars. I just like those. Okay, then we have a little silver tone ball with rhinestones. Then we have a cross here. Really beautiful cross. This is marked 120 12K gold filled. So that's what it says there. It's one. So we have that. That's nice. Okay, then we have an earring here. This is tin. And we have one of them with some paint on it. That's really cute. Then we have this gorgeous earring, but there's only one. And this little lone bead. And that's all she wrote, guys. So that was the end of this box from Dayton, Ohio. I'm not sure. I mean, I think there were a few pieces in here that were okay, but um, yeah, guys, let me know what you thought. I mean, I think it's mostly a crafter's paradise again. So, if you're interested in anything you see in these videos, please feel free to contact me at girlyorex at gmail.com and let me know what your favorites were in this box. If you had any, please hit that thumbs up and please hit that notification bell so that you're notified of any videos that I put out and you don't miss one. And most of all, guys, be well.